Hey, no, 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 Oh, great. I, I knew this was going to happen. He's ill breeding black mouse. No, no. Listen to me. I tried to tell you. Oh, fine. I could have told you this was going to happen. You're an idiot. Listen to me. I'm going to do it. Please, sir. If I might have a word with you. Give me more soldiers, noble leader, that they may sheathe their swords in the beating hearts of our enemies. Our men need better weapons, Lord. Let us put the scroll heads to work on this worthy pursuit. That is for his excellency to decide, Visigoth. Noble leader, there are matters other than this blunted spear point to attend to. Give me better ships, your excellency, and watch the seas turn red with blood! We need barracks, noble leader. Or would you have our soldiers sleeping on your palace steps? Would you defend our cities with haystacks, noble leader? Build city walls first, and other improvements later. All is well, Your Excellency, and that pleases me mightily. <laughs> we stand astride the world like a colossus, noble leader. Send forth our legions so that we may smash every army that would rise against us. Excellency, let us sharpen our diplomacy first, and our swords later. Your Excellency... The torch of knowledge sputters in your hands. Excellency, I have calculated the science rate out to the third bead of my abacus, and I am dismayed by what I see. Your Lordship, who cares about brains of the people are happy? Don't lower your luxury rate. Excellency, look at me. Can I study and learn alone on the cold stone streets? Build places of learning that we may reap the rewards of wondrous new technologies. Excellency, my rough accounting shows that trade routes to other lands would best serve the Empire. All is well, Your Excellency. I am off to Greece by Abacus. Excellency, other nations have knowledge we need. Why not let our dull-witted swordsmen go forth and take it? Excellency, we are the most enlightened empire in the world. I salute you. Most honorable leader, with all due respect, we cannot run an empire without coin. Raise the taxes or hire tax collectors swiftly. Just don't allow this weasel to touch the science rate, Excellency. You can do anything but lay off my luxury rate, noble leader. Excellency, let us make currency instead of swords, for it is wealth that moves the world, and profit that rules it. Most blessed leader, let us build marketplaces so that the peasants can barter for needed goods. Discover trade, Excellency, for we cannot barter with another nation when no means exist to reach them. My humble suggestion to your glorious person would be to build more caravans and trade with our unworthy neighbors. The Empire runs well, Excellency, though additional taxes would hurt no one. We have riches beyond our wildest dreams, Your Excellency, and it is my pleasure to share in them. No! It's barracks we need, and quickly! No! The defense of the cities is our foremost concern! I concur, Excellency. I disagree, Excellency. Pay them no heed, Excellency. Excellency, I demand your attention! <laughs> I concur, Your Excellency. I disagree, Your Excellency. Pay them no heed, Excellency. A word, Your Excellency. Remember, all things have a price, Excellency. He speaks the truth, Excellency. I disagree, Excellency. Pay them no heed, Excellency. May we speak, Excellency? Ha! <laughs> you conniving sophist! You weak-minded eunuch! I concur, Excellency. I disagree, Excellency. Pay them no heed, Excellency. Noble leader, may we speak. You pig! Dog! <laughs> I concur, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Pay them no heed, Your Majesty. A word, Your Majesty. I'm concerned, Majesty. 
Like, I need my... Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. My talents go to waste, noble leader. Let us send forth our explorers to find other nations. Noble leader, the Empire would best be served by joining with another nation. There will be time enough to betray them later. My lord, there is an invention called writing, which allows the most marvelous communications with other lands. You would do well to discover it. Evil tidings, lord. For other nations frown upon our treacherous ways. Let us make peace. Would you make peace with our enemies, Lord? Or would you stick their head upon a pike? Perhaps I could persuade your excellency to build embassies so that we may traffic freely with other nations. My lord, other lands possess knowledge most useful. Let us trade technologies now and destroy them later. The gods adore you, noble leader, and distant lands favor our mighty empire. I don't mean to be stepping on your gilded sandals, king, but the government will fall if we don't entertain the people. Science and taxes be damned, your nobleness. The people need luxuries to soothe their aching hearts. Excellency, we cannot sacrifice learning for luxuries. A noble leader, it takes coin, not clowns, to keep an empire afloat. A cloud darkens our land, noble leader, and the people need entertaining quickly. Wise men say that only fools run an empire without luxuries. King, no complaints, noble leader. The heralds call out your name, glorious leader, and all is well with the people. Grant us more units, sire, and I vow to present our foes in a bloody heap at your feet. And would you have us destroy those whom we could exploit? We fall behind in weapons technology, sire. Street urchins with wooden swords could defeat this army as it stands. Our ships are not fit to hold chamber pots, sire. Correct the situation in haste. Expenses be damned, sire. We need barracks. Else where will our soldiers rest their mighty lances? While the men of learning play with their quill pens, sire, the city defenses stay as thin as parchment. Build city walls! Would that we could wall up your gaping mouth, Platehead. Let love and wine their rights maintain. No complaint, sire, and their united pleasure. This bloody council be damned, sire. We have mighty soldiers and the will to fight. Let us go forth. Ponder matters carefully, sire, before we trifle with other nations. Sire. The very cobblestones of our streets possess more learning than we do. In truth, sire, we suck. The science rate ebbs low, your majesty. May I propose a small adjustment? And may I propose a small adjustment in your wits, you who would drain the taxes from the royal coffers? Reflect on this one, lord. We got to keep the people happy, too. Build more science improvements, sire, for even a humble man of learning needs a place to rest his parchment. Build trade routes, sire, and bring the knowledge of other cities to our doorsteps. All is well, sire. I am off to ponder matters of gravity. Sire, perhaps our spies or soldiers could acquire the knowledge that other lands won't grant us. Oh, the world marvels at our superior intellect, sire. The coffers lie empty, sire. I must insist that we raise the taxes or hire more collectors forthwith. I must object, sire, to any tampering with the science rate. Sire, we must keep the people happy, too. Sire, before our empire can truly grow, we need a place. Let us call it a bank in which money can be stored and lended for a price. Sire, I propose we construct more marketplaces, for all will benefit when the finest goods are traded within our cities. I am most woefully displeased, sire, for how can we maintain the jewels upon our fingers when we lack even the means to trade with distant lands? Sire, I propose more caravans that we may draw off the wealth of distant nations. We do well in all matters of trade, sire, Although an extra tax or two never hurt the royal coffers, eh? 
We are rich, sire. Rich, rich, rich. Silence, vile merchant. There are other pigs to gut first. Nay, sire. The defense of our cities takes precedence. I agree, sire. I agree, sire. Nay, sire. Pay them no heed, sire. A word, sire, and hastily. <laughs> ah. I agree, sire. I disagree, sire. Pay them no heed, sire. May I speak, your majesty? Silence, keghead. <laughs> Pshaw. I agree, sire. I disagree, sire. Pay them no heed, sire. If we may take counsel, your majesty. <laughs> ha! These matters take coin, excellency. Expenses, your majesty. Hold your tongue, sirrah. Mind your tongue. I agree, sire. I disagree, sire. Pay them no heed, sire. A word, sire, if it would not trouble you. Tuh! You big oaf. I agree, your majesty. I disagree, king. Pay them no heed, your majesty. May we speak, your majesty? Oh, man. I've had enough of this. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I have calls for concern, your majesty. Perhaps tis time to explore this vast world, sire, and find what treasures lay beyond these palace gates. My lord, let us ally with our neighbors now and ravage them later. My lord, let us research espionage in order to obtain information from other lands. Other lands regard us with suspicion, lord. Perhaps tis time to mend our treacherous ways. And perhaps it's time to mend our enemies with our bloody sword points! Foolishness, sire! With a good army, we can take all that we desire! Or perhaps this wily one has her hooks in you, sire. My lord, construct some embassies that I may sink my hooks into the hearts of other nations. You'll not regret it. Let us trade technologies with other lands, sire, and exploit the spoils of their intellect. Truly, your majesty's relations with other empires be remarkable. I don't mean to be scuffing the lordship's buckle shoes, but the government will fall if the people don't get entertained. Forthwith, no one can live without luxury, sire. Raise the luxury rate in haste, though the taxes may suffer. And you will suffer my wrath if you continue to spout this foolishness. Sire, the people need temples and entertainers to raise their spirits. Take action, hastily. I cannot let the people's spirits alone, your majesty. Assist me with some luxuries and keep the people's hearts content. Take heed if you must, sire, but leave the science rate alone. Heed not the ramblings of half-wits, sire. Technology holds the key to the empire's future. You do well, sire, and the people live happily in your kingdom. The people rejoice, sire. Long live your majesty, the king. We need more soldiers, sir. Any half-baked revolutionary can whoop our army as it stands. You're sending our soldiers into battle with cap guns and bottle rockets, General. How about some support for our boys up front? Give us better ships, General, or we'll be taking our shore leave in a lifeboat. More barracks would be in order, sir. Unless you'd rather have our boys bunking out in your latrine. Our city's defenses are as thin as a Cracker Jack box, sir. Now you do what you like, but don't come hollering to me when some upstart nation puts your palace to the torch. We're doing great, General, and we got you to thank for it. You're letting our crack troops go to waste, General. Let's go bonk some heads, sir. Why make what you can't fight for, General? Pay attention to your military first. Where I come from, we don't fraternize with the enemy, General. How about yourself? This bean counter's talking nonsense, General. Not so fast, Beaker boy. Don't let him fast talk you, General. We got other turkeys to shoot. Who cares, General? We got other itches worth scratching. Our production of knowledge is lowest in the world, sir. We are an absolute zero. Science production rates show an alarming decrease on all fronts, sir. I must insist that we correct the situation immediately. Or at least pretty soon. I have run the numbers out to the tenth decimal point, sir. 
and the results are clear. We must build more tech improvements. Sir, my analysis indicates that by building additional trade routes, we can interface more frequently with other nations and ergo ipso facto increase the science production rate. We're pretty much a-okay, sir. I'm off to play with my slide rule. Two words, sir. Steel technologies. That would show your perspicacity. You're Einstein, sir. I mean, you are the E to the MC squared, like a clock speed doubled microchip, sir. We're number one in science. What do you know, Lugnut? Sir, we must maintain our science rate. What do you know, Glitter Guy? Only an ignoramus would choose you over technology. Sir, revenues are down and our cash reserves are dropping. Raise the taxes or hire tax collectors immediately. Got a plan, sir. We need a science, a science of wealth. Set our people to researching economics. You won't regret it. Build a stock exchange and I'll show you what cash flow is really about. Trade, sir. Discover it. This is you. This is a clue. Get a clue. Discover trade. I'm concerned, sir. Caravan production is down for the fiscal year. Is this really what you want? All is well, sir. Quite bullish. Sir, analysts are bullish on the performance of our latest economic indicators. We're doing great, sir. The human slide rule over here would have you think money grew on trees, sir. I think not. If you want to take your advice from a blue suede fool, sir, then go right ahead. And who will pay for all of this, sir? Sir, I agree, sir. Sir, I disagree, sir. Don't listen to them, sir. A word, General. Yeehaw! I agree, sir. I disagree, sir. Don't listen to them, sir. Can we talk, sir? I agree, sir. I disagree, sir. Don't listen to them, sir. A word, sir, if I may. Problems, sir. We've got problems. Ah, yes. Let's do lunch, sir. I agree, sir. I disagree, sir. Don't listen to them, sir. A moment of your time, sir. Ah, Sobaka. I agree, Majesty. No way, King. Don't listen to them, sir. A moment of your time, King. I got some troubles, King. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> sir, I cannot abide your lack of resolve. There are other nations in this world, and it's up to you to find them. Sir, two can accomplish what one cannot. Let us form alliances with other nations. We can destroy them later. Sir, there is a technology called espionage. I suggest you research it. Sir, I must report that we've lost the respect of the global community. Shall we go ahead and betray them, or repair our reputation and then betray them? Let us build embassies, sir so that we possess a base of operations in the cities of our enemies. Sir, intelligence indicates that trading technologies will benefit us most at this time. Let us exploit this window of opportunity, sir. My spy network tells me that other nations hold us in the highest regard, sir. I await your further instructions. Do not listen to this Sobaka, sir. We can take with cunning what he would take by force. The man of science speaks wisdom, sir. The people are all shook up, Your Honest, and they need some entertaining to get them unshook. Folks, we'll be checking in the Heartbreak Hotel if we don't get them some entertainment soon, Your Majesty. I don't mean to be taken away from science and taxes, Your Majesty, but when the people are blue, the entertainment must be true. I don't mean to be stepping on your blue suede shoes, sir, but a land without luxuries is like a hound dog without a bone. Is not happy. We're rocking, Majesty, and we got you to thank for it. Sir, the people, they can't help falling in love with you. Just don't be low on my luxury rate, King. Thank you. Thank you very much. All your lordship, the people got to be entertained.
fire, to ascend the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling sea. Think when we talk of horses that you see them, printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth, for tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them from here to there, jumping o'er time, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me chorus to this history, who prologue like your humble patience pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge, our play.
Ladies, slow me 